Hey everyone, it's Selena here. Alright, so this tutorial is going off of a question that was asked on Cricut Design Space Facebook group. And it was an image that had a background that she wanted it deleted. Okay, so she had wanted the background deleted. Um, so not only am I going to show you how to delete the back layer, uh, I'm also going to show you how to create a couple of layers. Um, within the image so that if you wanted to go ahead and layer this on a shirt or however you're going to use it, um, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to file and I'm going to choose import. And I had saved that image onto my computer so I'm going to search for that. Click OK and this is the image. So this black rectangle is what she didn't want. So what I'm going to do is I have the image select, I'm going to go up to path and I'm going to choose trace bitmap. And it's going to open up this box here. And this automatically defaults to whatever you had it left at or 0.45. So I'm going to put it back at 0.45, click update and OK. And what it did is it traced it, which is this one here. But as you can see, the football word looks great, but the M's on the mom part look really fuzzy. So 0.45 is a little bit too high for this image. So let's go ahead and delete this. Let's choose this one again. And I'm going to drop it down to 0.25. Click Update and OK. And then... Let's take a look at that M. All right, that's a lot better. All right, so let's get rid of this one because I don't really need it anymore. And let's just work with this one here. All right, so in order to, it's still one layer here, to um, get rid of this rectangle here, I'm gonna choose path and I'm gonna drop down to break apart. Break apart is going to break up all the little pieces that make up this image. So you can see these dashed lines are just highlighting all the little pieces that make up that image. So if I click off of it, it's just a black rectangle and you really wouldn't know what to do from here. Um, but if I choose this tool here underneath the cursor, it's a nodes tool, and I just hover over all the little areas here, you can see all my pieces are there. But how do we how do we do this? Um, first and foremost, this rectangle here is what I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to choose the very outer corner, the very outer edge, just to choose that rectangle. Because if I click anywhere on the inside, I might get rid of a piece that I need and make up the rest of the image. So let's just click on this, and you can either scoot it over or just get rid of it all together. So I'm just going to choose delete. Okay. Now we're left with the words and the image of the football. But you don't see any details. It's just, it looks like the, you know, one layer that just doesn't have any details to it. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this um, because I'm going to show you two ways to do it. So this first one here, I'm just going to show you a sample image. One layer, one color deal. So... I highlighted everything and as you can see all those little pieces that make up this image are highlighted as well. I'm going to go up to path and I'm going to drop it down to exclusion. Exclusion is kind of like a slice tool. Um, so what it's going to do is just going to take all those pieces and slice through to make up the what the image should look like. So let's click on exclusion. Alright, so there you have just the outline in black and white. Um, of the image and you could be done and you can save it as an SVG and you're done and you're good to go. I'm going to move that over and bring this back over here and I'm going to show you the same thing um, but with a little bit more detail, a couple more layers. Alright, so this first word up here, let's leave this very simple because this word itself has three layers, and so do, do these M's, but I'm not going to do layers for every single 
letter right now because it's going to take some time. So I'm going to show you how to create la layers on the M's and the football. So this first one here, let's do the same thing, go up to path and go to exclusion. All right, so we're just going to have that one layer there. But this one here, I want to make a couple of layers, or let's do three layers, um, which in the example it had a pink, a white, and a black. So let's choose this nodes tool here and hover over this image. So this middle part here, I want that to be um, a red color. So let's choose red. And then there's, let's zoom in here a little bit. All right. There's this little piece here that needs to be sliced out so that you can see kind of like right here. Um, in order to slice that out of that very last layer, I'm going to choose that piece and I'm going to hold my shift key down on my keyboard and I'm going to choose the very outer piece here at the same time. So hold the shift key and then choose the very last layer here. Go up to exclusion, path, and then choose exclusion and that's going to slice that out there. Alright, so then you have one more layer here that's white. So I'm going to show you that's three layers. There's the white one, the red one, and the black one. So there's one. Now let's do the other M. Let's choose this nodes tool. You can use the cursor up here, but it's just easier. When you have the nodes tool selected, you can see the outline of, of all the layers or all the pieces. So let's do that same thing for this M here. Let's Select that little piece that needs to be sliced out. Hold the shift key down and then choose the outer last layer. Make sure you choose the last layer because it's if you choose the second layer, which is this one here, it's not going to slice correctly. Let me just show you. Looks like it didn't do anything. Um, and that's because it needs to be sliced out of the outer layer. So let's choose that one here and exclusion. All right, so now we can change our colors to red and this one can be white. Okay, all right. Now let's work with this football here. Now this football has all kinds of pieces here. What I want to do is I want to create a couple of layers to um, show the details of the football and also have um, the football like a brown color. So let's choose this one here and I'm going to choose a brown color. Oh, I think I was going to do that. Let's see. All right. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to select the football and I'm going to duplicate it by holding Control and the letter D. And I made a duplicate. So this one here, I'm going to choose Exclusion because I want to see those details. I'm going to change it to white. Let's just scoot it over a little bit so that I can see where it is. Let's put it there. And then this one here, I'm going to choose it all and I'm going to choose, instead of exclusion, I'm going to choose union. And I'm just going to, union is like weld in design space. So I'm just going to weld all of that together and I'm going to make that one brown. And now I can layer this one on top. Like that. Or if you wanted it to be black, I think it looks better in white. All right, and that's it. So now you have, let's um, group this one together. Let's go up to object and group. All right, so let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits within here. Oops. 
All right, so now you have your two images here. You have one that has several layers, and then you have one that is just one layer. So let's go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to open up Design Space and go into Vector Upload because it's an SVG. Okay, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm just gonna. All right, so we can go ahead and ungroup this. So you have this one here, which is one layer here. And then you have this one here, which has several different layers going on. All right, so I hope that answered your question. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos on Inkscape and Design Space, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a good evening.